everyone, Pally Tim here. Welcome back to Rogue Legacy 2. This is a special episode. We have restarted New Game Plus 8. Uh, uh, turns out after we stopped streaming, I deleted all of the money we made on the last run on accident. Uh, so that was 1.2 million down the drain. However, with any luck, today's run goes even better. This is Sir Caleb the 15th, a duelist, one of my best classes, with the fireball spell, one of the best spells, with dwarfism and the antique of the dreamcatcher. Defeat enemies while at maximum HP to gain maximum mana, meaning we can actually cast our spell more often. This is going to be our first run attempting a full clear of the castle. So strap in. This is going to be a long one. So... We've been leading up to this for a very long time. I think we have a very good character for it. And I think I have a strategy that might work. Uh, keep in mind this... Oh, okay. Okay, we're taking damage in the first room. That's how this is starting. Uh, keep in mind this is going to be a very long run. Uh, and I probably won't do a ton of editing. But we'll just see how it treats us. We are playing as a duelist. Duelists gain guaranteed critical hits when they dash. Now, you might be thinking that being this small gives us some advantages, and it does. It does. Chicken God's already smiling upon us. Uh, it does give us some advantages. For instance, finding the hole in between fire spells being shot at us or seekers being shot at us is significantly easier when you take up this little amount of the screen. I am so tempted to get that. Whoa. However, what is a bit more difficult is the fact that our reach is basically non-existent. So where a lot of characters would be able to attack through walls, for instance, a barbarian standing here might be able to hit the other side. We are not able to do that. Uh, should be able... Oh, never mind. I was thinking if I timed that right, we should be able to dash through to the other side. So what is the full clear? What does it mean? We go to every room, we kill every enemy, we get every chest, we kill every boss. Hopefully. Will we actually be able to do all that stuff? I don't know. I hope so. I do have some strategies. For instance, I'm not... I want to find the first boss, but I don't want to attack him just yet. Uh, I definitely don't want... I don't know. Actually, Assassin's Blades on a Duelist would be pretty good. What is the exact wording of the combat roll? Immune to all damage by rolling recharges over time. Okay, we got some elites in this room. Here we go. First big challenge. The mage is making everyone else immune to damage. The mage is also shredding my armor in instances like that where we get a little too close. Uh, the mage is taken down. Reset the room on accident, but that's okay. We did lose some HP in the process. We lost some armor in the process, but because of our quenching rune, hopefully we'll be able to make that up in no time. You're already seeing some of the tribulations with dash being our guaranteed critical hit. One thing I can do to alleviate that problem is just make sure I'm actually using our combat roll as well. The duelist weapon really isn't that good on its own. It gets really good when you do dash crits, but because we're a dwarf, that's a little harder to do. Oh, this guy chasing me down too. Okay, big hit through the side. We will be healing up every time we kill an enemy. And this is a very like technical way of playing. You have to dash, attack, and hopefully cancel your dash before you run into the enemy. And because our weapon is even smaller than normal, that's even more normal than difficult to do. Uh, I didn't get all the upgrades to my armor that I want. Let's throw a fireball here. Oh, God. Dash through. Perfect. Perfect. We're fine. There it is. 1,800 HP returned to us. We're going to combat roll through to the other side. Oh, just missed the critical hit there, but we made up for it. Going towards the dagger now. Mask spawning in. Let's get that removed. Skeleton won't even touch the ground. Okay. We did actually manage to recoup a lot of our health in here. And that's part of our strategy. These challenge rooms can help us out a lot. The other parts of our strategy, finding the boss room. I don't think I ever completed a sentence. Find the boss room, but don't complete it until we need the HP. Because every boss we do is basically a full heal. There are some exceptions to this rule. So for instance, just finding the Stygian study boss doesn't actually do us very much good at all. 
because they have mini bosses that we need to take down as well. Big hit there, unfortunately. Combat roll did get us down to the bottom floor, but did not secure the kill. Uh, let's move in for some easy hits here. I was actually thinking the javelin lady was going to fly off her platform, but she stayed planted. Good hit. Almost brings us back up to full HP. And hey, already I've managed to farm a quarter of what I... Or not even a quarter. A tenth of, of what I had last run. <laughs> I missed that money. I had so many big plans. A lot of fireballs coming our way. We'll just combat roll through that. Dash into the corner. We're good to go. We can already combat roll again. So as those fly by, we flow through. Nice. I did think about, whoa, doing this with, oh, man. So I didn't see the painting. The painting makes this harder. Whoop. Not too much harder. Oh, God. Good hits. They're getting some good hits into, though. Fuck. Now, part of our set, luckily, is the Ken set, which reflects damage back at attackers. So even though we were taking a lot of hits in there, at least those hits are still offensive as well. Now, I need to remember I'm not playing a Barbarian. We are simply taking too much damage, and we cannot afford to keep doing that. Uh, if we look to the right, that's probably going to be the way forward. Easily passed by that trap, no problem. Dagger greeting us by the door. I greet it with my own little mosquito stinger. Room full of daggers, it seems. Fireball coming towards us. Let's just be patient. Very nice. A lot of boxes here, too. Uh, we might be able to just get all of these to fall down to the bottom. Okay, quenching rune is coming into play as we pick up that mana potion. I do need to remember that I have a very strong spell, and I should be using it. And we've also taken some time to upgrade our intelligence recently, which is going to give us stronger hitting spells as well. Something that's been lacking a little bit on this profile in all of its time. Every opportunity we get, we are going to be sacrificing our current health to increase our maximum health. There are a couple of those guaranteed inside, maybe just one of those guaranteed inside the castle, but they are relatively common as well. Nice hits all across the board. Eventually, we're going to get to areas where that dash attack becomes a little obsolete, but at least for here in the starting castle, I can rely on it to secure kills usually. Like this starfish, for instance, should be killed in one hit. Unfortunately, I just mistimed that a little bit. Red eyeball is still killable in one hit, but the third evolution of that eyeball. Someone called him Pokemon when we were watching the credits, and now that's just stuck in my head. It does look like Pokemon evolutions when you see the different tiers of enemies that you're fighting. All right, 1,600 damage takes that down. We find a lore room in here. Collect a little gold inside, 189,000 gold so far. Room full of axes is kind of scary. Let's get fire burning on the right and then see how we can navigate around this room after that. Easy fireball on the left there as well. Couple pokes takes down the biggest axe in the room. Combat rolling through to the other side and we clear that without taking any damage. That's what we're looking for. That's what we're trying to do. Very pleased. Uh, in order to continue forward, it looks like we do have to go down here to the right of the room where we picked up that health increase. Um, we need to be very careful because if we break the platform in here, it does not come back. Uh, we could get to the point where we could not walk across this room and would have to traverse using the spikes. And that's not what I'm trying to do at the moment fireball into the corner he comes back easy money i like having this increased mana as long as we continue to get kills while we're at full health it's going to continue to climb as well so we're almost like a mage at the same time as being a duelist which i feel like doesn't happen very often a little gold sit down to the bottom the crossbow is making everything immune Nice, solid hit there. He can't leave his platform, so we can just poke at his toes. He is going to become immune to damage, however, and send out four waves of Seekers. We are prepared for the Seekers. And with one more swing, take down the Knight 
as well. One more big knight at the top of the room. Combat roll behind him for the guaranteed critical hit. And he's taken down as well. Quenching Rune actually tops off our mana again as we slice into an explosive archer at the top of the screen. Combat roll through the fire, dash through the other side, and we get another dash rune. All right, perfect. Uh, how do we get back? <laughs> the same way we got here. Of course. Just had to wait for the right window. Oh, let's see. I, sh I should be careful not to just check rooms. I need to make sure I am killing them. I forgot to attack there. I didn't forget that time. Uh, what color mage was that, chat? I need to keep an eye out for those guys. We'll leave him in there. Because they don't die in a single dash. I need to be very careful. Okay, this room looks fine. We're actually back to full health, which is fantastic. Going to move to the left from here and see if we can uncover anything up top. Looks like shit. Uh, they're camping in my spawn, too. As if it wasn't bad enough. Moving through to the other side, we have to focus the dagger first. Perfect. Now, with the rest of this, we should be fine. As long as he doesn't hit us, we won't lose any armor. He's burning right now. Good dash hit. I'm not going to I'm not going to risk those dash hits anymore. We're just going to let him Okay, he is immune to damage now. Four waves of Seekers. Fireball does connect right as his immunity goes away. And those elites have been cleared out. We need to be super careful with areas like that. Those are run-enders. It's also the dark red mages that are proving to be the strongest ones. Painting goes down in a single swing. Axe guy actually zoning me out pretty well here. That is a real chest underneath it, so I will loot the spoils. How do I get above me? Here we go. Looks like we have some alternating flames. Uh, one really good thing about our spell, one reason I was so excited to have it, is because a lot of enemies will have that damage immunity, and it can be very difficult for some classes to actually break through it. For instance, a barbarian hitting a target four times is a pretty big deal. That takes a lot of effort. However, with the fireball, if I can just land one fireball on a target, that damage over time is gonna carry over for quite a while. Well, well, looks like we found the entrance to the Stygian study long before we found the boss beneath us. But chicken gods are here smiling upon us. We're at full HP. I see no reason not to seek this place out. If we can get the mini bosses down and clear the way, oh God, clear the way forward. <laughs> oh man, how does he do it? How does he, how did he do it? Uh, if we can get the mini bosses down, that means the boss is a guaranteed heal. And the Stygian boss isn't crazy hard or anything. Dash on through. Hit that guy in the back. Mage on the far side actually has the damage immunity, and we were able to cut through it without even knowing the mage was there. I just missed. Uh, dagger above us. Easy slice. This room doesn't lead anywhere, so we are going to have to double back to the left. This wall of goo you see is the environmental effect of the Stygian study that you can turn on after beating the game. Uh, just completing Rogue Legacy is not the end, as I'm sure you can tell by now. We've done like hundreds of videos on the channel. But one of the, way, one of the ways the game gets harder is with these environmental effects. Nice, we hit the painting with fireball as it was zooming through to the other side. I don't think I can kill this dagger in a single hit, but we can. De Whoa, that's a mimic. Shit. Dash through. We're going back for the Mimic. Not how I wanted to kill it with Damage Reflect, but we're fine. Okay, so since we're up here, we should actually make sure that we see every square inch of what the castle has to offer in the study. Because this place is so out of the way, oh my god, that I don't want to have to come back here and clear it later. Uh, not the best start to it either, but that's okay. One thing to keep in mind, too, is that the mini-bosses do not heal us up here. Uh, so we are going to have to go into those pretty confidently. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah! 
Okay, dagger down. Let's get this goop out of here. Please. Perfect. It's two hits for the javelin throwers. Unless we get a super crit. Uh, this is a lightning mage coming down. Those are just little resonator bolts. We can bounce on those to get rid of them. Speaking of resonators as well, two bunnies up top that we can take down. Okay, this room has been cleared. You know, really, if you look at our money right now, you see how insignificant our funds were from the last one. We've already gotten 400,000. Oh, here we go. First relic room. Blocks up to two attacks, consumes 150 mana per block. Uh, that is good, and we have more than enough mana with our starting relic to make this thing a reality. Uh, the other one, for every point of resolve below 100, deal an additional 1% damage. I think the defense is probably better. So we shall take that. It is a hefty amount of resolve to give up, and part of what I wanted to do with our money from before was uh, actually up our... Uh, carry capacity for armor so we would start with even more resolve but unfortunately I was not able to do that in time the thing already coming into play wait is this the one that I need to recharge with potions am I remembering that right so it'll, it'll block two times until I get a potion that refills it I think that's correct uh, well, luckily for us, potions are abundant so far in this one. We have a Resonator, Bouncing Betty moving around the room, as well as a Frost Mage coming over from the plateau to greet us. He didn't come alone, though, bringing his friend. Fireball cancels out his icicles across the room, and we are good to go. Uh, Fire Mage above us, we can line of sight here just fine. Let's not forget about that trap on the left, as well as... <laughs> God, there's a lot of stuff happening in here, actually. Uh, critical hit, not enough to take down the hammer. That should kill most of the Seekers. Does damage to the Mage as well, buying us a little bit of time. And we can finally start to climb into this room a little bit. This Mage will become immune to damage eventually. There it is, but we have another fireball ready to... Oh, there we go. Actually throwing it the right way the second time. That is a dirty fake, and we no longer kill it in a single critical hit. Oh, good thing I have two dashes. Unfortunately, that dash landed me right on top of one of those green coins. Big damage on the skeleton as we push in. I'm going to move to the right. Defeated enemies have a spore burst applied to them. 30 resolve for them gonna re-roll oh shit hyperion ring hmm. cast three spells to charge your necklace and make the next cast free not really needed because of our mana situation either i'm using a lot of my re-rolls here i th think i need s yes 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 the boxing bell the dagger, the, the rapier attacks super duper fast. So we're able to build up those stacks like crazy. Now we can't hover in the air like a boxer. However, with each stack we generate, we hit harder above 20 stacks and we're guaranteed to deal fit. Whoa, <laughs> critical hits. Jeez, Whoa, crazy up here. We're gonna kill those projectile. Oh man. Hey, at least our little onion thing blocked it. Dash through. Dash through. Okay. Okay, we're all right, we're all right. Everything's fine. Check it to the right. We'll kill those guys in just a moment. I wanna see what's behind this door too. It looks like two mimics in a real chest. <laughs> I'll take this one. <laughs> Oh, they're awake. Shit. I gotta get up. Wait for it to come back. Nice. Any money over there? Well, that was very nice of you. Thank you, little friend. Thank you, little friend. Oh, sorry, chicken. Holy shit, if I just pissed the chicken gods off with that. This early in the run, we might be screwed. I'm sorry, chicken gods. I'm sorry. It was an accident. It was an accident. 
Okay, uh, taking a shit ton of damage in here, but luckily that little onion thing has protected us so well so far. It doesn't have any more charges. We are going to need to find a mana potion to get that back. However, we are in the study. There's a lot of wizards and shit in here. I'm sure they have some mana potions around somewhere. I need to stop relying on the dash to kill enemies because it's quite simply is not working anymore. The enemies are too high leveled now. Uh, maybe when we go back to Axis Mundi, we could start to do it again. But as we enter this room, we find the first of two mini bosses for the Stygian study. I used to think this one was the easier one until I found a trick for the other one. I'll make sure I point it out when we get there. This is basically an obstacle course that we have to get through. There's a few chests hidden along the way uh, that you can find in places like this. Uh, but overall, I'm only going to go for those if it looks like it's going to be safe. As we teleport through to the other side, this is where the encounter actually begins. Hey, there we go. We're going to be presented with three different obstacles that we have to figure out a way to get around. Sucks that I just used one of my stacks there, but that's okay. These obstacles are the resonating orbs, like you see right now, oriented in two different ways, as well as the walls of goop that you see right now as well. Once you get to the end, it's pretty much guaranteed, especially with our ability to roll. <laughs> but my range is actually a bit of a problem here. Oh, never mind. We can literally just keep backing up and keep doing this. No prep. No prep. All right. First mini boss down. Where's my chest? I know you got a chest. Give it here. We're halfway to the amount of money that we had on the previous run. I still am salty that I deleted it. But that's okay. Is he small enough to just go under the bottom orb? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. I'd have to combat roll under it. There is also a room that has like a little secret in it inside of this area. Go ahead and gather that. That's you. Ah, that's usually located over to the right side of the study. I imagine we'll be coming up on that pretty soon. Oh, nice super crit does take down that enemy. He's protected. Okay, I'm gonna assume it's the Mimic. Indeed it is, I'm gonna reset one more time. I keep missing my attack here. <laughs> that time I ran into him. <laughs> uh, this mage just makes those goop walls super duper easy to avoid. This is another Mimic here. Perfect hit. Nice, and the combat roll through to the other side. Uh, this room does have some scars. If you've never seen it before, move to the end of the bridge and hit the right bumper. It makes a platform for you to go way over to the other side. Secret spoiled. This is not a spoiler-free run, though. And this was the secret room I was alluding to earlier. This place is actually pretty beneficial. Here's how you solve this one, too. You stand here, dash, dash, and it gets you through to the other side. Uh, this room is usually pretty good for housing consumables deep into a run as well. Look at this. Pizza gods always smile upon us. It's usually really good to see this rune during one of our normal runs. No jumping is the challenge. We lost the challenge. <laughs> I think actually being a dwarf there doesn't help our odds because our character isn't... Uh, quite as big to get up to the platform above us, but that might just be an excuse. I don't know if that's actually true. Uh, this room has absolutely nothing. The other mini boss inside of the Sigean study is usually located over to the left side, so we're gonna try to make our way over there. Hey, nice job. I thought I was dashing. Where'd my, where'd my KO go? That was stupid. Drop kicking off of that lantern was not the play. Another relic room here. Uh, spell cast while at max HP. MP deal 25% more damage. I'm going to reroll these. Uh, this, after being hit, deal 100% more damage during the invulnerability window. 40 resolve for that is not worth it. I'm going to reroll this again. Here we go. Here we go. 
Weapons and spells do 20% more critical hit damage. That means my dash might actually be able to one-hit enemies again. And we can start working that back into our main rotation. I like how I said I was going to take it out, and then I just didn't do that. <laughs> but there we go. Proof of concept. Dagger dies right away. This is the boss room we were after, so this teleporter is going to be unlocked for the rest of our run. And now... We'll ju oh, just combat roll through that. Use our duelist stuff. Hey! Nice. Duelist doesn't hit crazy hard, but duelist just has so many tools to, de ouch, to deal damage, as well as ways to get out of trouble with their combat roll, that they have proven to be one of the most reliable classes for me to win a run on. We are getting to the point where our resolve is below 100%, which is scary. You never really want to be at that point. However, keep in mind, we are finding apples along our shit, along our path that are increasing our maximum HP. Uh, this guy on the left is the one giving out the immunity field, so he has to die first. Nice. Bullied into the corner. We take him down super fast after getting an optimal intro. Uh, I meant to combat roll towards him. That sucks. I did not want to reset that. But that's okay. Very good damage there. We have a lightning mage underneath us. Woo! Whoa! That was a lot of stuff to dodge, but we managed to push through no problem. And the boxing bell got a decent number of stacks. We may only see the boxing bell be super useful versus bosses, unfortunately. Uh, this guy is going to go immune to damage instead of dying. Is he two charges or three? He looks like a double charger. There's his immune. Oh, shit. Didn't dash in time. Did a drop kick instead. Ouch. Fireball got it. Speaking of fireballs, this guy does have an elite affix. It's going to allow him to spawn some of his own, but we managed to take him down. Get out of the way of this cannon. Try to finish him off before he fires and before this gets here. We'll use our fireball to clear out a path into the ice and pressure that mage as well. It's like each floor of this place has a new enemy for me to fight. Beautiful. I need to use the combat roll more. I can't win this if I don't use that combat roll better than what I've done so far. I just cannot. It is not possible. Uh, that mage making everyone else in the room immune to damage, however, dies in a single swing from a lucky crit. We can use our combat roll to move through these seekers. It looks like they actually faded. They do have a set duration that they're able to stay alive, and that's about it. Uh, two mages meet us at the door. I should not have reset that. It actually is probably going to make things worse for me. Uh, I'm trying to... Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's fine. Wait. I... I walked through him. Am I elusive? Because I have the boxing bell? What happened? I am not... I confirm I am not elusive. How did I move through that cannon? <gasps> Fuck. Okay. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, if we look to the left, we have the second of the mini bosses here. We're going to dip out after we fight this mini boss. Uh, there is another scar located up here. If anyone's curious. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so I used to think this was the harder of the two bosses until I found out this one easy trick. Uh, they have three attacks. One of them is a ranged attack. This is one of their seekers. This is an attack too. You don't need me to tell you what all the attacks are. However, one that is the most deadly was their spear throw. And I found out that you could just stand right here and that wasn't us dwarf dodging it. That's just how you dodge it. It just goes right over you. So, since I've learned that, I've been able to knock out this boss consistently without taking a single hit of damage. It's actually pretty crazy. 
Okay, and for all intents and purposes, uh, we have a couple more rooms here in the Stygian study to get, but this place is done for a while. We won't be doing the last boss now. We're going to come back to this when we think we need the health increase. And hopefully we do the boss well enough that we leave there with a high amount of health. However, my character is capped off right now, so we don't need to do that. Uh, here is the... St I hate losing my block charges like that. Holy fucking shit. Here's the study. Uh, we are going to increase our maximum HP. And I have a path above us I am going to need to check out. I'm going to leave that relic room for the time being. Puzzle challenge, no jumping, destroy all targets. No jumping, destroy all targets. Okay. Uh, 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 wait, I could take, oh. Nay! So oh, I wish I had that rune right now. Oh, I wish I had that rune right now. Oh man, that'd be so nice to have. All right, looks like this room has two exits and we missed a floor above us. I'm gonna double back and get those. Oh, we should be able to get this without taking damage. Break it now. Combat roll, grab it. And then flee! Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> At least we lost those on actual attacks. That does feel a little better than running into a wall of goop and losing it. Uh, we don't have any more block stacks at the moment, but the chicken god smile upon us today. I might be able to fireball through that wall, even though I can't attack through that wall. Indeed, I can. Let's assume they're at that same corner again. One of them was fire mage at the top of the room dies at the same time. And we have just one more area to check. Very good start to our run so far, very pleased. And we're making a ton of money at the same time. Uh, that mage by the door is super duper scary, but fire on him gets him burning early. We're gonna combat roll through the fireballs that he sent out after that. And then just dash right on through the scoop. Hey bud. Perfect. Perfect. And this is not the final room. I keep thinking they are, but I need to kill you. Fuck! Oh! 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 Oh, we're okay. Got a little intense there for a second. Nope, nope. Oh, I hate those spikes. Oh my fucking God. I remember when the game first released, I was very unhappy with how spikes were handled in this game because if you moved, hold on. If you moved into the side of them, it counted as you like landing on top of them. And it wasn't like that in the original game and it was really jarring. But eventually they went back and fixed it. That is a full clear of the Stygian study in the books. I'm gonna start the castle over and clear to the east. Okay, back in the castle, heading down. We might find the entrance to the dry lake, but that's not something, maybe I should pursue the dry lake early actually. Maybe that is a thing I should do. We're actually relatively stacked on relics at the moment. It does feel good to be back into an area that I can dash kill enemies. That that does feel very satisfying. Uh, Moving to the right, we need to make sure, perfect, we find another mana potion. That's the dry lake entrance. All right. Yeah, okay. We have a contingency plan. So I actually don't think this is that, th I don't think this is that bad. I think we'll be fine down here. Uh, we're about to know what kind of a layout we got. Uh, boss is always to the right. Ooh, most of it's to the right today. Okay, interesting. Now remember, we have to full clear this too. We don't actually have to. I mean, all we have to do is kill the bosses and want to go, but you know how we are. 
I've never successfully done one of these. <laughs> Why am I so bad at them? All you gotta do is do the opposite of the line. Why can't I do it? I have some kind of mental barrier. Don't you jump on me. Thank you. Wow, that was a big crit for just a normal slash. I cannot wait until we get this boxing bell really going. Nice hit. Deletes the mask immediately. Another mask on the far side. They could travel through walls, but luckily we deal pretty good dash damage right now. Oh my fucking god! Take the trap damage. Take the trap damage. The trap damage is worth it. It's way less than what those enemies are going to hit me for. Oh, this seems like a pretty big room. Look how small... I, maybe it's just I'm a dwarf, and I'm still not used to that. Uh, axe veers off to the left. We have a bat underneath us. Uh, bat came to say hi again. It's dashing across the top of the room right now. Seeker's coming in from the left as fucking well. Okay, bat down. Bunny's next. Those Seekers are coming back soon. That dog never made it over to this side. And we can combat roll through that. Rhapsody, thank you so much for the 62 months. I hope you're doing very well. Uh, two rooms underneath us with resonating forks. So we're going to try to check these out first. Uh, the furthest to the south is always a room that houses a scar. Uh, and there's also a lore room... That's guaranteed to have food down here. Oh! Down here as well. Did he hit me twice? I think one was blocked by our thing and the other one just nailed me. That is really unfortunate. He's not coming down either. We're just nailing through the wall. One more. Okay. We're going to have to Drop down here. Perfect. <laughs> Look at that nightmare! What is that? There's just... There's just worms on all the walls! I actually thought these guys were worms too, so maybe it's not as bad as I thought. The extra large bat taken down already. Where's the other one hanging out? Right on the tip of my rapier, that's where. Man, that's not gonna be pleasant. One thing I can do is just leave some fire, drop down, ignite him, drop back up. That way we don't have to worry about the mushroom in the middle. Look at that. They just deny so much. <gasps> he can see me there, so we need to stand in the middle. Okay. That's half the problem taken care of. All right. That was actually pretty smooth pretty pleased. This room just took a little bit of patience. And we just got that mana potion, which means we can absorb another attack. This is one of the lore rooms. Guaranteed to have food on the left side. Oh! Goddamn! Both of these are really good. Both of these cost a lot of resolve that I cannot give up. We could re-roll them. Uh, I don't think I'm going to. I wish I had more resolve for this run. Again, I deleted all of my money from the last run on accident. I was planning on spending it all on increasing the amount of relics we could pick up. You know, sometimes that's just how life happens, though. Let's send a fireball back over to them. Actually, direct hit. Let's send another one. We have a shield coming towards us that I didn't know existed, as well as a zombie crawling up through the floor. I think I'm okay, but I'm still going to bounce anyway here. Um, all right, room cleared. Let's see what's to the left. Apple room, we take it. 4,413 HP right now. And we fi- Oh, shit. Um, okay. So hear me out. If I pick up that- If I pick up that key now, destroy all targets, lose no health. If I pick up that key now. Damn it. <laughs> Tried to be fancy. Uh, I'm going to lose roughly 2,000 HP. So I'll spare you guys the walk back. I'll do some editing. Twitch, you're just going to have to get cozy with me. 
But we'll kill all these guys in this room. Okay, hold on. We'll kill all the guys in this room. I'm not going to pick that key up now. It's going to be a long walk. Um, but we'll wait till we find the white gate. And then we'll try to double back on that. I am going to take the food in here, though. Since it's guaranteed. And I'm here now anyway. It was just a chicken. Thank you, chicken gods. I don't mean just a chicken. I mean, it was a great, great chicken, and I feasted well on it. Easy. Go on the spikes. Go on the spikes. You did not follow the orders I gave you. Thank you! Oh, shit. Oh, God. <gasps> that was a big hit. That was a big hit. I didn't like that. That's a... Oh, combat immunity! Oh, my God, yes! Because I used the roll, I was able to stand on the spikes for, like, a second. Uh, there's something to the right that's making everything immune. We're gonna combat roll behind the skeleton, give him a piece of our mind. More accurately, a piece of our rapier. And this looks pretty dangerous. Here, there's this... <laughs> How do you do that? How'd you do that? That's crazy. <laughs> How'd you hide on a board? Wolf coming in. I don't think the wolf can get up to me here. Well, the wolf could definitely get up to me here. Good hits. Take him down pretty fast. I'm going to hurry to the other side before we have any more environmental stuff come through. Uh, we're going to combat roll that and move back to the right. This is a big room. There's a whole section above us as well. This mask has left the immunity field, and I got so lucky with a super crit there to take it down. If you can just lower a little bit more. Uh, this wolf will be immune to damage for a little bit. That's a scary sight, but the fireball eats through that, no problem. Now I just have to keep up the damage. Use our immunity frames there to push through. So I wouldn't say our health is bad. Uh, I also wouldn't say it's great. Nice! Also, what is going on in this room underneath me? It looks like some massive arena. I'm just gonna combat roll. Fuck it. Whoop. Try to stay away from that projectile as well. Good dash. Watch out. That, that projectile was exactly where I needed to be the entire time. Is it just two shields down here? I'm scared. How do I get in there? Oh, I guess I'm going. Good. Send it back. I don't want those. Oh. Oh. I'm okay. Was that the whole room? That was the whole room. Yes, indeed. Get me out of there. What's above us? Shit. Garbage. Garbage is above us. We're going to have to move through on the left side here. And chicken gods, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, this is the other key. This is the... So this is the black key right here. This is the white key where we are now. That means the gates are to our east. Uh, zombie? No. White. That's the light. Okay. We got our block stacks back. Uh, used him right away, unfortunate. Huh. Huh. I like how the sound is muffled while I'm in here as well. I thought I could just move to the right there. I was mistaken. So we're going to wait here for a moment. The fish are the run-enders. Let's not forget that. There we go. That's enough damage to send us over. Perfect. Okay, full health, more or less. The room has to be close. Good hits here. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Gotcha. That mimic above us seems extra large. Oh, it sure is. With seekers and fireballs. Oh, I was hoping I would stop his momentum a little more. Fuck! 500 damage from the seeker, that is insane! I'm very thankful for the block that we had in the chamber. Uh, we don't have any more, though, until we find another mana potion. <sighs> there are a few rooms in this castle that show up every now and then. You know, you start to recognize them. 
there are some where it's like a wall in the middle ouch that leads that has a crack in the middle that leads to the right and then on the other side of that is like six elites all stacked up together getting ready to just ruin your entire world and uh if we come across one of those it doesn't matter how much armor i have if they land their hits we are just screwed oh fuck until purified any hit taken is fatal but we gain 50 resolve oh mercy me i'm gonna try this might end our run right here but we're gonna try we're gonna pick this up and we're going to main menu very carefully very carefully moving to the right sitting up straight posture check chat Woo! <laughs> oh, 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 oh no oh uh, back to the main menu <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. I'm going to try going down from the study. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. We've been in the castle before. Where does this take me? Right next to the fire. That's fine. Okay. Where does this take me? Perfect. Perfect. Okay. We have not been to the right here. If I fall on a trap, I'm dead. If I take a hit by an enemy, I'm dead. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. One. Two. <laughs> okay. Three. Moving through, moving through. Four. We're going to leave that alone, I think. Four. Uh, left and down. Have I cleared this room? I think we did. Wait, 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 wait. If I find a mana potion, I have block. I shouldn't rely on that, though. Just something to think about. Something to think about, I guess. No enemies in here? Yes! Motherfucker! Motherfucker! Ah! 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 Oh. Okay. All right. Uh, still six more to go. This room didn't help us at all. Well, I mean, we got a man potion, I guess. Uh... That's fine. <laughs> oh God. Ah, oh, not that room. That's not the room. Hey, oh fuck. Ah. Okay, we found Axis Mundi. Axis Mundi isn't, it's not any harder than the starting castle. It's not any harder. We can do it here. We can do it here. Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Ah! Okay, we're fine. Everything's fine. Visualize, visualize, visualize. He dies in one dash attack. Five more to go. Five more to go. Five more to go. Oh no. 
Ho, 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 ho. Four more to go. Any other character can just hit through the wall here! Come back to the wall. Come back to the wall. Both of you. Two more, two more, two more, two more, two more. Jesus Christ, this is a deadly ass room. Oh, fuck my life! No, run! <laughs> oh, my God, what the hell? What the fuck is it? Okay, give me all done. Not that one. Nice. And with that, we actually have enough resolve to only go back down to 95, but we gain the sun. So every attack we do is also going to deal damage over time. That might mean that we might be in the new market, a new market for a, a new spell, if we can find it, in fact. Uh, not necessarily a necessity. Combat roll onto the spikes. Dash back out the other side. Uh, there are a couple rooms over on the left that we haven't seen yet, but this is also where the the keys were. So I guess I'm not super worried about that. Let's move back over to the right. Okay, we're actually getting close to some of the resonating forks. We are going to need to go back over to the other side, but let's see if we can find one of the gates relatively soon. Unfortunately, sent that spell flying off in the wrong direction. Quick dash through the goop gets rid of it. Uh, a worm on the roof takes one of our block charges, but I will give one of my block charges for that any day of the week. Let's try not to do it again, though. Rolling through, though. Wait, do you not get poisoned right away? It seemed like I slipped through that a little bit. Nice! Whoa! Okay, okay, this is super good for us. Even if we can't one-shot... I was dashing. Oh, yeah, okay. Ember did it. Even if we can't one-shot an enemy with our dash attack now, the damage over time from the sun might be enough to actually push it over the edge. Which is huge. Huge for our overall well-being. Uh, we managed to take down that mage. The smaller ones reside above it. I'm going to reset this room so I don't have to deal with that shit falling down. Should not have jumped there. Should just dash, but that's okay. We get to the other side and grab the chest. We've been pretty thorough actually clearing through the dry lake. There are a few rooms to the left that we're going to have to move back for. But all things considered, this isn't that bad. Perfect. The forks are still to the right. I'm going to see what's in these rooms. Just so I don't have to clear through them again. Something with fireballs coming from... The, oh, God, they're immune, too. And whatever is making them immune is moving with them. So let's reset that. Let's see if I can pull with the fireball. Oh, perfect shot. Hello? Now, unfortunately, having damage over time on our primary attack does come with some complications, too. For instance, these masks. When they take damage, they teleport around. Because we're not killing them in a single hit... They're going to move around a lot more. We didn't get the attention of whatever's making them immune. Now we have its full attention and managed to take it down instantly. Finding a safe place to sit on as well. Okay, things are looking fan-fucking-tastic. Honestly, if we can leave this place with some momentum, if we can leave this place feeling okay, we should be total ah, totally good to go. Uh, this mage will get stronger the longer it's in combat, but we killed it before that became an issue. Bat meeting us right out of the first door. Actually, several bats in this room. We'll cut that one off at the pass. Trying to deal enough damage to kill it off. Wasn't quite able to do so. Need to make sure I'm using my combat roll more. Just like that. These mages will die if we super crit. They will not die if we don't. We have to ride a very fine line. It's an odd-shaped room, isn't it? 
So to the right is going to be the boss. We could trigger that room just so we have the teleport to get back to it. Whoop, whoop. Kill this guy to make this area safe. Seeker has to go too. We have time though. Ouch, shouldn't have done that. We're okay. We're okay. Beautiful damage. Uh, that is a Mimic right next to an Eyeball. I'm going to reset just so I can fight the Eyeball on its own. I think resetting can be seen as a little cheesy, but it's such a quick way to gain an advantage. Uh, we're going to try to combat roll the explosion. We fucking did. Super proud of that movement. And we managed to clear the room out without taking any damage as a result. Now, what the fuck is going on in here? This dagger is making everyone else immune. Dagger has to go first. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. Okay. Back to this side. Let's remember we have combat roll. Perfect. Nice. Uh, this guy is going to take a few hits to get down, but remember we have the burning auto, so that's fine. Ah! Stop dashing into things, you motherfucker! Boss should be to the right. I did not look at these before I took them, but the immunity frames. Uh, let me get around that. Hey, bud. Oh, you wait right here. I'll come back for you. I'll come back for you. So, that means one of these rooms underneath us is one of the gates. Luckily, I took the right teleporter that time. That's just rude. How dare you? Fireball trying to remove as many of those Seekers as I can. Moved at the perfect time to avoid the Ember. That was not intentional. That is a Mimic. Whoa, shit. Whoa, shit. F plant's gotta go. Roll back over to this side. Burn this guy through his shield. Get this motherfucker in the trap. <laughs> okay, okay. We actually handled that pretty well. We handled that pretty well. We need another burn up top to eat through the shield. I don't know what hit me there. Oh, it was a fucking coin, wasn't it? Ah, oh, my one weakness. My one... Definitely no other weaknesses. It's just that. Never been weak to anything in my life. This is a very oddly shaped room. Uh, in order to progress forward, we have to drop down to this level. I don't believe we've cleared this yet, but it is empty. Maybe we have... Looking to the right now, we have a worm on top. They need to go first. Gonna combat roll through, use our damage to finish him off on the other side. Lots of bones flying around our character, but we managed to find this sweet spot for a time anyway. Chicken does fill us back up, feeling super healthy. Is the burn enough? I think we can burn both of them right there. Yeah, we got it. Now looking right. Uh, mimic here. We'll, uh, try to let them deal with those explosions without me. Holy shit! Combat roll through the Seekers that are coming through to the other side. Mimic does make it over. Wolf chasing us down to the ends of the earth. Oh, I'm gonna combat roll through. He still managed to hit me. Immunity frame's not quite long enough there. He double backed on me super fast. My god, those guys track like crazy. The room underneath us is one of the resonators. I don't like that plan over there. I don't know what he's thinking. I don't know what he's up to. We're gonna have to combat roll through to the other side of the axe. He can follow me back up, so let's let him do it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Oh, that's looking scary. One more hit, there we go. Okay, room cleared, dropping down. We have the black key. Uh, okay. I was going to try to just walk back over to the other side and see if I could find it, but instead, what we're going to do is uncover the white gate as well, uh, because I don't know which one was where. At least we'll have access to both doors. Does that make sense? It makes sense in my head, anyway. We probably don't even need to do it that way, because there's only so many rooms left. Uh, let's wait for this to come through. That worm's going to be able to shoot again really soon, and he does right to my chest. The burn should be enough to take it down. That money goes right into our pockets. Nice hit on the other side there, too. Didn't notice this worm at the top, but that damage is more than enough. 
skeleton greets us at the front door. I got so lucky there. Whoa, I hit him at the perfect moment to make those boomerang bones go right over my head. Uh, not, not that lucky that time. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, that's bad. Um, armor got shredded. The only way we get it back is with a mana potion, but we didn't lose much. We didn't lose much. And we've actually, I think we've found so many more mana potions than I would expect on a normal run. They've been very generous with those. I hope that continues as the run continues. So dipping down here, uh, two worms on either side. I'm going to reset this really fast. I'm going to try again. Fuck. I don't think that'll kill him. That will. Shit. <laughs> Can't stay there. Oh, and the seeker came back right at that moment, too. Got Zash. We're fine. Oh, just missed the crit. Fuck. Okay, another important thing to mention is that we... Oh, challenge room, actually amazing. Good, 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 good. We'll be... <laughs> Never mind. Uh, whatever I was going to say doesn't matter. Play nice and cool. There's no pressure. No pressure at all. Keep the burn going. The burn will carry. The burn will carry. They got a little out of sync. I need them back in sync. Or I could just try to focus one down maybe. Oh, shit. We're okay. Oh, that scared me. <laughs> okay, we got it. 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 This wasn't the challenge I was hoping for. If we could fight a bunch of the little minions, then we would be totally fine. Um, but we still walked out of there with 200 more HP than we had when we went in, so that's excellent. That's excellent. Got anything else for me? No, they don't. Holy moly. Okay, dropping down. This is the lore room. We have a mana potion inside and a teleporter. This is actually... Wait, what? Did I... Okay, I'm just going to assume I did find both of the gates and then I'm not losing my mind. I thought we only found one of them. The endurance part of the run seems to already be getting to me. The ADD's kicking in. <laughs> Uh, this was the last room left to clear over on this side. Actually, this is looking like a pretty thoroughly cleared dry lake at the moment. And this early in the run means that we should be pretty well off. Okay, so uh, it's a bit of a run, so we'll edit it out. But we have to go to the other side, grab the keys, and come back. Hopefully every enemy along the path is already dead, and we just have to dodge a few traps along the way. And there is a room here we haven't seen. Uh, that wolf is protecting everyone else, but I don't think they're actually capable of damaging me. Uh, the wolf protection is gone. I don't think we get... I don't think we get rid of the wall yet. Well, I should've. Okay, I'll get rid of it now. Seeker's coming through from the other side. Didn't see those, and we'll try to burn him from here. I don't think that'll be enough to kill the mimic. Yes, it will. Perfect. Wasted my block on a goo door, though. That's a little less of I'm feeling really good. I think we could do it. We cleared the, the hardest part already. Honestly, right after this, I should head to the side temple. Start working on that. Okay. Uh, we have 600 health. That looks scary. And it is. But we're, we're going to go to the main menu. We have a teleporter. We have a teleporter at the bottom right that leads directly to a gate. We'll open the gate and then open the other gate. And then, um, oh, what do we, because we don't get the health back, right? Uh, oh yeah, that's kind of a problem, isn't it? Uh, let's see if there's any in the room for us. None. Oh, little mana potion. That is helpful, actually. Super helpful. Uh, let's
let's open the other gates. It was over here to the left, I believe. Okay, so we got our resolve back. Now, I could go back down to the teleporter. Uh, this is just faster. I guess what we'll do instead is because we already cleared the study, we're going to fight our first boss right now and be healed back up to full. That's the plan. Uh, I am... I'm okay at this boss. It was really rusty last time, but we need to leave here with as close to full HP as possible. So Estuary Enoch Prime enters the fray, starting off with explosions on the ground. Those all spawn seekers. Let me try to take care of those pretty fast. He's gonna be breaking off or closing off parts of the room here. Dealt with that totally fine. That explosion kind of sucks dealt with that totally fine this is going to encircle around me just dash when it gets close dashing for me now okay phase two same as phase one he's just gonna have little circles around him too that we have to dodge on top of everything else let's make sure we keep burning on him dashing out now <laughs> love to see that that was good oh no no, no okay okay it was blocked it was blocked by the stem. We're fine. What's happening? Oh, this is around me. We're good. Okay. I should be able to do this next part without getting hit. Theoretically. Theoretically. Depending on how it starts. Oh, yeah. Oh, interesting. He only jumped once. No room. No room. Don't force it. Not worth it. Oh! oh, oh, oh. oh. Stop it! Stop it! Stop! 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 We're fine. Nothing's wrong. Look at that fireball. Amazing fireball. Don't force. Do not force. Forcing is how you die. Didn't think that was gonna hit me. Didn't think I was in the boss. Oh my fucking god. Oh, we finally got to the super crits. We finally got to the fucking super crits. <laughs> okay. Okay, that wasn't the best it could have been. We still lost 2000 HP, but we're better off than we were. Uh, we have more of the starting castle we could clear. Not much more though. Uh. We could also push... I think I would heal moving through Axis Mundi. I'm pretty confident I would heal moving through Axis Mundi. So we could start to... Oh, and there's a potentially heals here as well. We could start to move to the east, gain HP on the way, and then teleport back and do the boss rooms. That is the current plan. We'll see if it works out for us. Uh, that is a real chest at the bottom. I think all the chests are real here. Ooh, 140 damage from the trap. That's okay. Nah, that's okay. We're not worried yet. We're not worried yet. Uh, the environmental effect here are the cannons that are falling down from above. Uh, they used to be a lot more deadly, to be honest. I'm not too worried of the much more tamed version that we see now. Uh, even with 100 HP back every single kill, it is going to take a while to get all of our HP returned. So I am hoping that the chicken gods are listening and will answer my prayers eventually. And maybe, just maybe, we'll get a visit from the pizza gods today. Oof. That was closer than I expected. Guy does go down eventually. Gold dropping to the floor. Uh, didn't think I was in range of that. Kind of, kind of tilted. Anything in here that I need to know about? Nothing so far. Oh, unfortunately can't use any of this. I would actually really love that tower on the right. It would increase our critical hit chance even more. Blue Ember coming towards us. Easy critical hit there. This guy dies in a single hit too. We can go back to our dashing strategy in this zone at least. Oh, just under. Got it. Nothing to the left. Lightning Mage here. Burn should kill it, but I'm going to send in 
a little bit of extra oomph with that as well. No food in those chests as we continue to look forward, trying to scavenge for our well-being. 300 more damage from that ember. I can't. There we go. Quite make that jump. Just need a little more airtime. Okay, slowly but surely we are healing. And the good news is, is that there is a teleporter at the midpoint. So we don't even have to do all of Axe's Moody before we bail out of here. Elite on the left, he has some mages with him as well. Bones flying down from above. Uh, took damage, but the, the chicken gods are here for us. The chicken gods heard our prayer. We have not taken any damage from this guy. There we go. Now we have. He shreds armor, so we are going to have to find mana potions to get that armor back. Oh, shit. This wasn't as guaranteed as I was hoping. In fact, we're we're really not making much progress here, are we? Good hit there. Gives us 100 HP back. Uh, don't take damage from the water, you motherfucker. Uh, I don't think his bones are capable of hitting me from here. That's a one-hit kill as we dash in. Same thing. One-hit kill. Now it's looking all right. Okay. What do you got for me in here? You got any pizza? There's got to be pizza in this castle somewhere. Lose no health is the challenge. Got it. Reinforced rune. <laughs> if only I had that right now. If only I had that right now, that would be good. Okay. Um, this is the first quarter done. We're on the second quarter of Axis Moondy now. Up and over. Good hits. Perfect. Uh, I think I'm safe. We are. Okay, the healing is actually coming through. We're going to carry this momentum to the halfway portion of this map. I'm making sure that fish can't get me. I think we're fine. We're going to carry this to the halfway marker, teleport back down to the dry lake, do the hard shit, and come back up here. That being said, the prime Axis Mundi boss is actually pretty difficult, too. We don't have any AoE damage to speak of. Challenge here should heal us back up to full HP if we do it right. Fish spawning in immediately is kind of scary. Resonating enemy taken down. Eyeballs watching over us. That one in the flame, so I can't quite reach it yet. We do manage to nail that fish with a fireball from across the map, and I need to make sure I'm using my combat roll. Uh, let's get to the other side of this guy. Perfect. Fish shouldn't have much health left. No, it does not. And the starfish at the top goes down. Resonator on the left. We have to bounce off these. Uh, that mage is a little scary. As that runs down towards me, we're just going to spin on through it. Okay. Starfish in the fire. Almost got hit by that bone. We good, bro? Oh, no. Another wave coming in. And that's a massive fish. I'm going to avoid him, actually, for the time being, if I can. <laughs> as long as we can keep him burning, we're doing okay. That actually died off screen. Perfect. Okay, back to full health. The run is alive and well. Just have to make it to the midpoint. Just have to make it to the midpoint. I just looked at our gold for the first time in a while. 1.6 million. <laughs> Mana potion restoring our block charges. Excellent. Excellent. Those fireballs can't hit shit. I'm going to go back for that fish. Well, it's in the water now. That fish is dead to me. Nice. I think I can get out of there in time. Yes, indeed we can. Uh, so we immunity framed the environmental damage there, but then still kept the effect of being teleported back to our last known on the ground location. That was something we learned out really recently, and it feels good to apply that to the full clear. I was wondering if another use case for that would ever come up again, but I was actually totally stuck in that area. Good hit. Okay. Anything good in here? What you got? Okay, now this is where it gets interesting. I'm going to use a full, few rerolls on this 
Yes! Yes! Okay. Because our spell was our original source of damage over time, but we found another one when we picked up the Sun Relic, we now have a different source of damage over time. We can double up on them with the Poison Glob. This will also help us massively on the boss fight at the end of Axis Mundi because they have a bunch of adds that we can get to stand inside that poison all at once. That should also help us on the Sun Temple. I think that was a really, really, really good pickup. I'm going back for that bat. Run into that. Very lucky I didn't get hit by a bone there. That was actually so close. Okay, the teleporter is above us. There's also some boxes in there we can use for some potential HP soon as well. Okay, back down to the dry lake. We have too many bosses to fight if things get too sketchy. No, I don't think things will get too sketchy. I don't think things will get too sketchy. I think we're okay. Here's the first one. This is hammer and dagger. Oh, big hit there, but that's fine. Poison on him as well. That's so much damage over time. He might die just from that. Lots of fireballs moving across the room, though. That is a little scary. Didn't mean to hit right there. That's unfortunate. Those are his fireballs in the middle. Looks like both of them moved into that, though. And the damage over time is enough to take down. Was that a mallet and not an axe? Did I call it an axe? You don't mind, but you knew what I meant. You knew what I meant. You saw it. Good poison stacks on this dude here, too. Ooh. Uh, fire might have it. It doesn't. Poison will. That was pretty clean. Very pleased with that. We used our block charges from the mana potions in there. Okay. 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 This is actually doable. <laughs> Team, I think... It all depends on how bad the Sun Temple is to me. I think, that, I think we're gonna do it. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna do it. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Okay, no mana to start things off with. Axe is approaching. I believe he sends out fireballs during that as well, so I don't want to be anywhere near him. We're gonna spend the majority of the first part of this fight focusing on the shield. We're gonna try to get it to do some vertical bounces first before it flies off to the other side. Poison right here in the middle. We're gonna drastically change sizes, si sides here. Uh, good hits, good hits, good hits, good hits. Ooh, didn't mean to hit that, to take that. But the damage reflect was enough to send him packing. If I can keep him inside of that poison, that would be really good. Like right there. He's gonna channel that spell for a while. That means he's gonna come out of that with 10 stacks of poison. Ooh. Accelerated really fast when he hit the ground. I wasn't ready for that. We got it. Oh my god, our setup is so good right now. Our setup is so good. Okay. Well, do we save the boss down here and head up the sun tower? Maybe. M maybe. I think so. Okay. Hey, little buddy. Glad you're out of there. Glad you made it. Uh, it's just faster to get back to our teleporter this way, so I'm gonna do it. Okay. We're gonna take a look at the sun tower. And how did I not get that chest? Did I bail on this during our no death? How did I not get this? Oh yeah, that's exactly what it was. It's okay, that's okay, we're back for it. Neil Sater, I appreciate your prime. Thank you for the 43 months. Now, to the Sun Tower we go. The tallest building in all of the lands. A shit ton of verticality here, so we might be screwed. Ancient Wisdom <laughs> gave up 14 gifted subs this time. Thank you, my dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. All right. 
Let's focus up, boys. This is the hardest area we still have to do. After this, it's basically a victory lap up until the final bosses. If we do this, we're golden. Now, I guess that's not entirely true because the boss here is really fucking hard. But we full heal, heal before we get to it. So that's something. Good hit on oh, that crossbow takes it down. Can't leave this area yet. We have to explore what's above it. Just a chandelier to our right, another teleport up above. These guys don't care about walls. And combat roll through. Crit on the other side. That was beautiful. Okay, let's check left, let's check right. Both are actually small areas. I don't know if I've ever seen that before. We're going to use this as an opportunity to just grab up these chests, bringing our money up to a total of 1.6. <laughs> That's so much. That's so much money. <laughs> I think we've already shattered our previous record. I'm pretty sure. The environmental effects in this area are the dragons that will be swooping down towards us. With any luck, we'll be able to avoid them throughout our run. However, something to remember is those environmental dragon dragon riders deal less damage than what most enemies will. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Shit, they woke up. This is bad. I shouldn't have poisoned them. I just made my whole life worse. Are they not coming down? Man, that means I have to go get them. Ugh. Oh, one of them heard me. Hello? Hello, masks? Oh, shit. I didn't even make the connection that one of them was making the rest immune to damage. Nice. Whoa. Hold on, I gotta get back up there now. Wake up. Yo, that was so clean. Enamalo, thank you for your Twitch Prime in the eight months, my dude. Welcome back. Happy to have you. Okay, we are going to have to clear both sections of this area. I'm going to reset that real fast. Both sections of this area. But... Oh, oh this is gross. Ah, oh, ah, ah, it's terrible. But I think we could do it just fine. Aside from that one enemy that was in an extremely difficult spot. I'm going to get these Seekers out beneath me and then try to show up above them. Uh, they can't move through poison, so we are actually protected here. Yet another reason this spell is so fucking good. Uh, we don't have enough mana to cast it again. We need 75. Combat roll through. Just take our damage where we can get it here. Play safe. Play safe. Good hit. Combat roll. Poison. Oh, amazing poison. Amazing poison. Yes, yes, yes. Fuck yes. Okay. Okay. We can do this. This is so... This is so... Woo. Let me get some more mana. I'll, uh, I'll figure that out. I'll figure. I'll figure that out in a second. I don't think there's gonna be any more en enemies up here. Fuck. Recover. Okay. <laughs> oh. Well. That's good. That's good. That's really good. That's really good. That's really good. He's immune to damage now. Poison him. Oh god! Ah, oh, oh. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Fireball got a little sketchy there for a second. We managed it just fine. Plant's dead. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. If we can beat that room, we can beat any room, dude. If we can beat that, we can do anything. I have to go back down, unfortunately through some traps here, but I think we can avoid them okay. I'm gonna have to move to the left to see the rest of, oh, fireballs are homing. That means, yes, indeed, it's a black mage. They do pretty big damage too. Combat rolling through those seekers. I'm gonna reset. Good hits. Uh, okay. Nice, beautiful, yes! Okay, keep up the momentum. 
Is that the timer? No, he's making everyone immune. That's a little problematic. Not anymore, it's not. Beautiful hits with the dash strike. <laughs> I can do this. I just have to keep verbally reminding myself that we're actually totally, totally okay. I'm feeling my anxiety kick in, bro. Ouch, didn't mean to take that hit there. Protect myself with poison here in the corner. None of the Seekers can get to me. He's poisoned, so he'll die immediately after his immunity fades. That spell was such a good pickup. I am so happy we found it. Uh, that scary little Seeker thing could only come from one enemy, and it's that small plant off to the right. We took a little trap damage there, but again, not a big deal. Uh, we, woo, okay, hold, hold, hold on. Poison straight down. He's immune. Still poisoned. We're fine. Grab the chest, and then I'll have to double back towards all of this chaos. Decent hits there. Managed to take down two of the mages at once. That crossbow on the left does have a fire augment, so it's sending out even more stuff that we need to dodge. That synced up pretty well. That's my big window. And... We got it. Okay, jumping up to the top, checking another room on the right. Eyeball doesn't get to cast, doesn't get a say in today's manners. We take it down instantly. That starfish is about to send something towards me. It did indeed, but the fire from our weapon was able to kill it off. Okay. Okay, keep climbing. The only way to, to get out of here is to keep going up. Uh, I think I can ride that, yep. Uh, ghostly mage in the center of this room. Some kind of... Whoa! Holy shit! Some kind of, uh, yeah, it's a crossbow beneath us. Looks like two crossbows beneath us. Two starfish above us. One of them is armor shredding. Uh, what if I just fall straight down? <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. We're okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Sketchy part's over. Now we just clear the room. That thing didn't armor shred me, right? No, just the one up top does. He's a bit harder to hit, though. I'll be honest with you. Uh, we might want to just... Lob some poison up to that guy. Just dodge some stuff in the meantime. I think we hit him with both. That'll be enough poison to kill him. The problem with this room is, like, if we try to do our guaranteed crit with the dash, is we immediately hit one of these and just get flung around. Get in the fire. Or get, get on spikes. That's okay. You can go that way. You can go that way. That's fine. Okay, checking right just to see where it leads. Looks like a small area this time. Didn't see that trap there. Unfortunate. Maybe we'll get a mana potion to give us a block charge. That would be really excellent. Not today. Instead, we have another challenge. I probably should have saved this. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, this is odd. Normally, when you fight this guy, it's two of them. And no ads. Uh, I'll try to keep him poisoned. And burning. And he shouldn't live through too much. Oh. Next hit kills him. There it is. Uh, is the other boss going to spawn? Or is it just, just the single this time? I'm fine with just the single for the record. Okay, got out of there at about the same HP as we went in with. I think that's, that's pretty okay. I think that's pretty okay. I wish I had more resolve. Man, it'd be so fun. Granted, we haven't found too many more relic rooms, to be fair. But I'm looking at all my buffs at the bottom left, and it could be better. <laughs> uh, this leads back into the castle, but looks like a dead end. Super easy for us, because we have two of uh, the goopy dash charges. Okay. In order to get out of here, we can go up or go outside. Outside does have one more. Shit. Woo Outside does have one more uh, chest that we're going to need to grab. Damn it, didn't mean to jump. Oh, that was an armor shred, too. We need another mana potion. 
whenever we get hit by that armor shreds, it just Im increases the lethality of the entire run by a significant margin. Looks like a lot of enemies above us. I might be able to burn these guys or poison them through the floor. Make our entrance in a little bit easier. Yeah, it looks like one was enough for that planky. <laughs> See if we can do it again. <laughs> All we gotta do is dodge. All we gotta do is dodge. Okay, I'm committing. Oh. It's okay. That's okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Should've just jump kicked. Fuck! Got away from me there a little bit. Fire might kill it. No, don't don't trust the fire. Don't trust the fire. My hands are so sweaty. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. More HP. Oh, I need it apparently. Cause that guy impacts me really hard. Uh, we only know where one other boss is, right? And it's two ball. No. Skele skeletons. No, we haven't been to skeletons yet. Yes, we know where two ball is. We still haven't killed the first boss, which is kind of good for us. But very recently in a video, I was like super cocky towards the first boss, and then he slapped some sense into me. So I don't think that fight is as guaranteed as I once believed. Fireball augment from that plant hits me in the side right as I charge. Unfortunate. And that's a big ass plant over on the other side. Kind of, <laughs> kind of afraid of that. Uh, he's got to die immediately. Uh, oh shit, get poison. No, 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 that's what I don't want. That's what I don't want. Move into that. Oh, actually great spot for me here. If I just dive underneath them, there's really not much you can do. We can protect ourselves with the poison as well. Yes, yes. We have a lot of HP to make up because we just sacrificed so much of our current HP for a maximum increase, but we're doing very well at recouping that health in the hardest zone that we still have left to clear. I'm going to go for a plant clear fast. These guys aren't that scary, but we don't want to deal with that and magma balls falling down ah, from above you motherfucker. Two million gold, two million. I wish I had an air horn sound effect. Now would be the time. Looks like there is a chest beneath us on this side. There we go. Good fall. Oh, nice crit, too. Hey. Combat roll through that. Uh, these guys only do like 100 damage, so if they hit us, it's fine. And now we just have to climb back up. Make sure I hit the ground so I don't get reset back down. Just in case I hit a cloud. Okay, this is too much. Too much. Okay, we'll take that damage. Critical hit in with our immunity. Fucking, fuckity fuck, fuck. <sighs> okay, okay, the worst of it's over. Uh, we have not seen what's on the left here, so I'll check this out really fast. Chest on the other side. Man, that's not bad. Wait, is there a catch? No, no spikes on the roof. That was actually just an easy room. Whoa. <laughs> forgot what those were like just trying to keep the crossbow's attention on me while I kite that little resonator around we're good just combat roll through that we're fine okay okay now three more two more areas above us one chest to the right uh, that chest might be just being a trap gauntlet. Man, if I was lucky, it was just in a trap gauntlet. We have enough for one spell cast, and I didn't aim it very well. I'm committing. Oh, that was fine. That spell would have done way more damage than what that seeker did. If this uh, crossbow hits me, I'm kind of fucked. It would armor shred. We are back to maximum armor right now, I believe. And there's two exits here. Hopefully this is the same room. Now we're gonna have to double back a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Mask in this room, dash crit, good damage. Oh, that was 500 that he hit me for twice. Super fucking hard hitting enemy. 
Oh no, not like this. Not like this, not like this. Not like this, not like this. We're okay. All over to the left. Shit. Uh, so it's an eyeball above. That to the left. Okay, we'll reset that left. Now when the elemental comes down, perfect. Oh yes. Oh yes. All right, let's not go too far. We do need to double back. We'll die from burn. I have to roll. Oh no. Come on. Oh my God, we made it to the top. We made it to the top. That's the top right there. That's the top right there. Holy shit. We're actually doing this. We're actually doing this. <laughs> oh no. It's possible. It's possible. Uh, I'll probably combat roll that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Okay, next one. We have to be extremely careful in here. Because if we break too much of the platform, we actually can't get up to the chest at the top. However, is this going to be where the pizza gods pay us a visit? Thank you, chicken gods. Love you. Love you, chicken gods. You're number one fan. I could have combat rolled to avoid that. I didn't think I was going to miss the jump. Okay, back down to the left. Just one mage. Whew! <laughs> that was pretty smooth. Uh, we'll poison these guys. That should be enough. Unfortunately, they didn't stay in it for... Yeah, you get back in there! You get back in there! Actually, the bigger one had way more HP than I was expecting. Uh, we scouted this out at one point, but did not clear it. So let's make sure we do that now. There's a s elite starfish. Shit. I got a block stack. <gasps> and I just used it. Poison might be enough. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't mean for that. Combat roll. Boop. What do you have for me in here? Anything good? Anything I should be aware of? Don't get hit. Destroy all targets. Got it. Got it. Was there a pizza up top? Are you lying to me? Did the pizza god visit and I didn't notice? <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. We haven't gotten a pizza this whole... This whole run. Who is sending out a seeker from way the fuck up here? This is bad. Oh, this is really bad. Uh, use that. Deal damage. Oh, I don't know where I am. Oh, fuck! I reflected something back. Did that kill the mask? Yeah, I think we're okay. Stabilized? Stabilized? Fully cleared, right? Yes. <laughs> I abandoned the pizza gods. Oh, no. <laughs> the pizza god is, uh... He's not the most forgiving god. He may not... He may not let that slide. I'm gonna reset this a few times until they do what I want. Fuck it. Ouch. Got it. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Chest underneath us, didn't mean to fall all the way! That's fine. Um... We have two more side rooms to clear on the way up. Uh, this one doesn't have anything in it. I'm not mixing it up with the dry lake one anymore. Yeah, you stay down there. <laughs> Very thankful for my extra jumps right now. <gasps> no. No, 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 no. Nope. I was hoping for Ronan. 
That's the last of our rerolls. We're not rerolling anything anymore. We made it to the top. This is probably the hardest of the bosses. I'm going to do this one now. I want to make sure that this is behind us. Because we could lose the run here. We could we could lose fucking an hour and 45 minutes into this. Poison immediately, poison often. And that's why we're protected. Didn't roll in time, that's okay. Oh, that's a fast phase one. That's a really fast phase one. That is so good. That is so good. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. We can do it. Okay, ad phase. Uh, we might be able to kill all these ads in a single dash. Ooh. In combat, roll that. Uh, I disagree, but that's okay. Maze just fell. Got. Oh, that wasn't a single. We actually need this to refill a decent amount of my mana as well. Those are seeking fireballs. So they'll come back around. Oh, shit. Uh, we're fine. Hey, dwarf isn't paying off. I, I sque squeezed in right under that. Uh, we need to hit the poison right in the middle of the eyeballs here because we want it to hit all three. So taking an extra second to just make sure that lines up. I didn't mean to come over here. <laughs> All right, let's try that again, shall we? Damn it. Damn it. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I need to get in there and deal damage. I, uh, I have to commit. Okay, good, 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 good. Mana's not great. I'm picking bottom right eye again, I always do. Shit. Great damage. Yes, 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 yes! Okay! We fucking got it! Dude, the run's in the bag. The run is in the bag until we get to the final two bosses. Fuck. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Now I have the dread of the final two bosses looming ahead of me. <sighs> okay, big drink of water. We're doing just fine. We're doing just fine. Let's head on down. Oh my God. I feel so good about this. You know, one thing I never noticed before is look how uniform this is. That's a tight tower. Okay. It looks like I missed a chest in Axis Moondy that I'm gonna need to double back for. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break. Go get that. Go get that chest, and then we'll move eastward. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> this is doable. All right, pushing into the east side of Axis Mundi. The final half of this zone lies ahead of us. We're greeted by a lower room immediately as we enter. Nothing inside that room of significance. We're at 2.3 million gold right now. Fantastic number. I want that every run. Nowhere to hide there. We're going to have to dip out to the left as those cannonballs fall down. Did spot the secret room immediately this time. We're going to use it to get down to the chest on the bottom floor, bringing us over that 2.4 million threshold. Teleport's the only way to get up top. Two resignators are beneath us, being protected by cheers of all things. Actually lost blow both of my block charges there as well, which is not ideal. Quick hits on the starfish allow us to burn them down. Nice. Good. Good, 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 good. Continuing east. We have a ghost. Not even going to let him get a cast off. I don't want to deal with those seekers. Unfortunately, I do have to deal with the ground. If I saw that coming, we could have immunity it. Uh, what's that teleporter for? 
I think it's funny that this challenge used to actually be difficult to do, but now that we have the extra long dash and like multiple stages of it, that's basically just a chest with extra steps. Don't even have to think about it. Uh, ooh, I might be able to get to this no problem too, using the roof for easy access up top. Perfect. Probably should have broken that statue. We have one starfish inside the room. He'll die to the burn. And one kind of lore room up here. Oh, while below 50% health deal 20% more damage. Unfortunately, I can't use either of these. I don't want to give up that much health. Oh, armor shredder. Didn't even see him. Stood right next to him. Didn't even know he was there. Taken down before he got the jump on. Okay, combat roll. We're fine. One too many dashes there. Wasn't actually able to gain any altitude. Uh, this bat is not going to die from that bleed. He's going to need a little more encouragement. Hammer probably the same. Two swings to take down. Yes, indeed. We're going to combat roll down after his spell. Uh, there's a chest underneath us as well. If we jump down, we should be able to get to it. Hey, that was actually pretty smooth. Normally, you have to take the teleporter back out, but we can just dash to the right. And this is the last quarter of Axis Mundi left to go. And not only that, we're entering it at full fucking health. A couple Seekers, we're fine. Part of the benefit of having a smaller body is those Seekers have less to hit. I'm trying to play around that to the best of my ability. It's not too often you actually get dwarfism in this game. We used our combat roll because we were cornered there, just completely immune to any damage they would have done. If I was a seeker chasing after me, I know that I would be frustrated right now, and that's what we're aiming for. Uh, fish at the bottom making everything immune. Dies in a single hit. If we can just land poison on this guy once, he'll die off, but it looks like we just missed. Okay, yeah, I think I am back to full armor. We're in a great spot. Really, really, really great spot. This is seeming very doable right now. Hey, I think this might be the longest YouTube video I've ever posted. Let's turn off that red thing. I don't need any more people being mad at me. I see dashes forward, we'll just sidestep back. Normally my reach would be fine there, but he was just a little out of it. That red thing's coming back to life right now. I think a burn and a poison will do it. Right? Yeah. Ah. There we go. <laughs> uh, four more chests inside of this area. Didn't see the traps because I was looking at the map. That's my own fault. We're going to use him as a way of getting to the top. The money beneath us hit the water, so it's going to vacuum to us immediately. Ember Spirit taken down. Chest above us. We'll go ahead and grab that. The bat attacks through walls. So let's make sure we're not there. Another lightning mage on the right side as well. Although he's not channeling, lucky crit takes him down in a single hit. And what do you know? Most of this area is just water. Meaning we're closer to the end than I even thought. Resonators in here. I'm gonna combat roll the fire, uh, the cannonball most likely. Ember spirit coming in, forcing me to retreat. We also have some kind of lightning mage off to the right as, oh shit. I'm about to roll that. Yo, that was graceful. Hello? <laughs> no, oh, of course. Of course. Yeah, okay. You couldn't just let me have it. Couldn't just let me have it, huh? We're going to double jump up here. I hope this goes away at some point. Whoa, crazy lucky I didn't take damage there. Missed a secret room. What? Where? How far back? Oh shit, fucking stupid ass green. Uh, armor shredder, be careful. Nice. Was it just one building away? Back in the lore room. What? All the way back there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Good eyes. The Might Rune increases weapon crit damage. And the final chest for this area is right 
here. Axis Moondy is cleared, dude. Okay, so there is a trick. If you don't want to fight this boss, you can go up here and skip around. And you can actually just go on through to the other side here, if that's something that you're interested in doing. It's probably not going to matter that I did that. Pro probably. Hopefully not going to matter that I did that. Chicken gods greet us upon, upon entering the Kerguelian Plateau. Uh, I don't want to underestimate this area. Because I remember when we were playing through the game originally, this zone was really hard for me to get a grasp on. There's just so much ice. And in fact, I would argue that the environmental effect for this area is one of the more difficult to deal one of the more difficult ones to deal with. Uh, just because it's so much stuff all at once. You have to break Ooh, I like that. Keep doing that. Oh yeah, that's good. Come on over. Any normal sized character would have been able to secure that kill there, but unfortunately our little mosquito stinger doesn't quite reach through walls. That's okay. We managed to clear out this room no problem. Uh, this is usually one of the smaller zones, but it's very compact. We also have to find these lilies of the valley to open the door, and we're already kind of under what our maximum health should be. So I don't think it's that big of a deal, but maybe I don't pick up the lilies of the valley right away. Uh, after the plan is done casting, we move into it no problem, taking it down. One room underneath us here. Looks like this is going to be Zombie City. Double dashes on this zombie. Unfortunately, I just picked up that mana push and this gave us another block charge and immediately wasted it. One thing we could try to do is just make sure we check all of those boxes, especially back at the beginning of the zone before we enter the actual boss area because extra block charges could be a very, very good thing. Beautiful lob with the poison. That'll be enough to kill off that enemy. We'll move up to the top left now. Looks like we have a chest above us. Some fancy footwork gets us up to the top. <laughs> that was the cleanest I've ever done that. <laughs> And that brings us up to 2.6 million right now. Holy crap. Secret on the wall. There's lore on the right. There's also a scar here in the middle if you've progressed the game enough. Just in case you didn't know. In hindsight, I should have uh, combat rolled that instead of... We'll get out of there instead of casting a spell. Okay. Let's get this starfish down if we can. I am going to be forced to retreat. Taking a lot of damage in this room, unfortunately. Got him. Ugh, ran into him, too. Didn't make you any better. Combat roll, Pally. You're a fucking duelist. Ooh. I should... <gasps> you can throw it that far! I was opening my mouth to say I should be safe over here on the right. Poison kills off the other plant. Perfect. Okay. We are losing some HP in here. But not like a crazy amount. I think we're still okay. The trap isn't that big of a deal. We're going to hit it again. Bouncing off that guy's head is just propelling me into the ceiling, unfortunately. I could cancel it with another dash to the... So oh. Armor Shredder. Seeker. Oh. I'm scared. I'm scared. I have to go back over there. He's exploding again. Oh, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. That's a big room. Uh, so is this one. Worm immediately in. See if I can push him in. I hate that spell he's casting. Just a few seekers coming towards us. They are so slow when you compare them to some of the elite ones. Shit. Yeah, you go in the corner. Go in the corner. Let me get you. Chest above us here. Being protected by a plant with extended life. We'll just put poison on him and back up. We Again, we should be safe here, but I said that earlier too. Chicken God's paying us yet another visit. Bringing us back up to full health at the same time. I can't take any of these. Wait, what's the lantern do? No more gold. Oh, you yeah, fuck that. <laughs> no. Hey, we found the boss room. That's actually huge. That solves a lot of our problems. 
Uh, we could double back for that Lily of the Valley that we saw. You only need two. There's actually three in the level, so we'll just grab the next two that we run into. From here, we can go west or south. West is a challenge room. We'll knock this out real fast. Looks like it is going to be just kill all enemies. Uh, I've said it before on this run, but these are pretty much guaranteed full health rooms. So actually doing this right now maybe wasn't the best call. We still have plenty of bosses, though. I shouldn't overthink it too much. I think we're still fine. Couple bounces there. Take down the worm on the far side. There should be one more round of enemies. We're actually way ahead of the curve here. I like how the zombies spawn in, but then immediately form underground. Perfect. Full health, just like we wanted to be. Oh, man. Okay. I'm f starting to feel the endurance of this run kicking in. This has been nonstop focus for two hours and 11 minutes at this point. <laughs> but the end is near. Glory is within reach. And you better believe I'm not going to ease up on this game now. Uh, this is the environmental effect I was talking about here. So not only do you have to break the ice, you then have to dodge the resonator and then turn it off or it'll keep growing ice again. I, I genuinely think it's the most challenging of all of the environmentals. Uh, looking, we have another plan underneath us. Shield to the top left. We're doing so well on clearing this out though. Didn't mean to reset that, but I will take that as an opportunity to jump on top of this knight. This guy's going to go immune to damage. We'll just push him into the corner with that. Uh, that mage would have exploded given the opportunity. Luckily, we didn't give him that opportunity. Whoop. Well, that was, that was a close jump. Our fire able to finish off that enemy that we're, we weren't able to one-shot. One of the lilies of the valley is in here, and there's also some tombstones at the bottom. We can grab, hopefully, with a mana potion inside. You gonna be good to me? Yeah, it's okay. Uh, worms by the door, and I immediately got caught in that one, unfortunately. This wall is breakable, but this is being spawn camped by yet another worm. You know, I still don't have great... I don't, I don't think I'm great at responding to worms in this game. I think you're supposed to bait attacks off in one direction and then immediately jump the other way, but some of the higher level ones are shooting off like five or six poison globs at a time. That's hard. It's a lot of stuff. Poison finishes off the enemy to our left as we take down the worm on the right. Uh, this is another one of the secret areas to get an heirloom if you haven't seen it before. Uh, you can get the heirloom here. And then there is, uh, on the back, a secret room to get a scar later on as well once you beat the prime version of the boss. I don't know why anyone who doesn't know that would be this far into a YouTube video. But hey, just in case, I'm here to share knowledge. It's what I'm good at. I want to do that. Um, here's our second lily of the valley that we need good bounce there gets us right into the sweet spot my posture is terrible let's start to fix it i'm leaning way too forward mana potion brings us another block charge i'm going to try not to waste it on environmental stuff we should because we have both of the lilies this should be the majority of the zone already taken care of this should just be a formality at this point he says as he walks into a room with fucking wolves everywhere what the fuck is this I bet there's zombies down here, too. Uh, we'll deal with the mages up top first, since the rest of the threat seems to be underneath us. They can jump up a little bit, but I don't... Eh, they do move. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, that's pretty good. I can't send another one of these down, but it looks like that poison was enough to at least get us started. This guy's immune to damage now. We are seeing lots of projectiles coming out. We slap him in the face as he's jumping towards us to send him back. I had a really hard time with the wolves when we came into this difficulty. Or when we um, came into the plateau, especially when we started fighting the alpha wolves. I, I really struggled with them. The tipping point was when I realized that all you have to do ooh, is tap them once when they're in the air and then they lose all forward momentum. You can really control where they path and where they don't path with that easy adjustment. However, that's easier said than done if you're a barbarian or something. 
Our block charge just saved us 600 damage there. I'm trying to climb this room to get up to the chest that's here. The mana potion gods. Think about how much damage I've mitigated with that first relic that we've picked up. It's actually pretty fucking astonishing at this point. With 600 damage there, we've almost mitigated 1,000 damage in this room from that alone. From that alone. Let's poison these. Oh, God. Poison up there, too. What the fuck is going on on this side of the room? Didn't see the zombie underneath me. Wow. Worm's already taken care of. Getting a piece of their own medicine, too. How's it feel? Uh, this leads into a dead end. To the left leads back to the start. We're almost done. We're almost done. I'm going to double back for that. Just quick reset. That leads up above us. Is there a mana potion here? No, 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 no. My mana potion sense led me astray that time. Uh, no dashing and lose no health is the challenge. Whoop. <laughs> It's so fucking easy as a duelist. Hey, there we go. What do we pick up? The bounty rune. Gain even more gold. I wish I had that equipped right now. Wouldn't that just be amazing? Uh, that is a real chest. Guarded by a real trap that I just set off on accident. Hey, we know we're safe here now, though. Good test. Perfect. Now all we have to do is go to the left in here. This heads back towards the entrance. It's one big... Okay, there is still a little bit more. Let me double check over here. This is looking really good. Okay, so we have some extra seekers being sent out by this starfish. Also sending out waves of goop. Remember, we can dash through that. If we need to. I don't think we need to, though. We're going to immunity frame that seeker coming after me. With a teleport, something's making them immune. I need to find it quick. I... Oh, that's a problem. Uh, he was out of the play area that I was in. Whoa, didn't expect that. Luckily, we were right next to the teleporter. We were able to get out of there, no problem. These guys spawn camping me as I move in. We have a zombie infestation in this room as well. He's burning and poisoned. I think the rest of his friends are going to die just like he did pretty soon after. We grab the chest and he it's one more. There we go. And now it's cleared. Now it's cleared. He just saves some resolve for the least. Nah. Well, uh, when we drop him off, our resolve goes right back up to where it was before. And then when we enter the boss room, we get back to full health. So the only downside is we're missing like a couple, couple hundred health right now. It's not that big of a deal. The keys down in the dry lake were significantly scarier. Uh, cause they, oh, I didn't see the traps. They take more resolve to pick up. So you're committing more in a harder zone. Oh, mana potions back. Mucka, thank you for the 59 months. I thought you just gave that to me yesterday. I think I think I poisoned there. It's gonna remove the ice, no problem. You can get get in there. Thank you. Well, who do you think you are? Are you playing smart? You're jumping out of the spikes? You're not allowed to jump out of the spikes. We're gonna combat roll through the trap tree. Oh, we're okay. None right above it. We have one room to the right here. Wow, there's like a whole subterranean level of this zone this time. Falling all the way down, taking trap damage. That's the worst case scenario for our block, especially after that guy hits us. Oh, fucking fuck. Get me out of here. It's cleared. Uh, I didn't see this plan underneath. I'm glad it cast before I move in. I was about to jump right in on that guy. There's another one on the far side. Spore Burst is not a bad spell. However, I think ours just has way more synergy with what we're trying to do. A little iron is... Wait, wait a minute. When we started today, I was like 200 iron. That's a huge increase. Yo, that alone is worth it for this run. Forget about the gold. I mean, the gold's nice and everything, but... Nice. Pressure, pressure. We're good, we're good, we're good. He's on a timer now, but the poison will kill all of his seekers as long as he stays there. And then the dot kills him when the immunity fades. Oh, yes. 
Oh, stay back. Stay back. Stay. Oh, stay back. Um. Yeah, dot that corner. There's a chest down here as well, being protected by yet another elite. He's sending off some fireballs, as well as getting a damage buff the longer he's in combat. Oh, and the damage does apply to those fireballs. I need to be more careful. Oh, took it again. Okay, same thing as before. Doesn't even matter if he moves away. We're just not killing the Seekers. That dot kills him after the duration. One more room. One more room. One more room. And then we're done with the Plateau. We're done with Axis Mundi. We're done with the Sun Tower. We're done with everything except for the starting castle and the final two bosses. Last room being protected by two Frost Mages. Decent hit. Clear my platform. I just tried to send some poison up to the top, but I wasn't able to connect with it. Nice. The final chest of the plateau is in my possession. Let's go do the boss. This is not the hardest boss we have left to do, even in the castle. So let's make an example of it. Let's make it look easy. That's okay. Great. Okay, let's get this scroll mad at me. Turn it off, turn it off. Dash through. Scroll is back, scroll is back, scroll is back. Stay here. Oh, fuck. 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 Got it. All right. Could have been a little better. Doesn't matter, though. Doesn't matter. It's dead. That's all that matters. Got our resolve back. Got the chest. We're going to break three million with that. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's do two ball next, huh? Let's do two ball. Gold! You freed me. A blessing given from a strange and not met, that honor a thousand things could not reciprocate. A gift of return and steed, others like yourself saw to Ball's location. Find him they could not, for within me, he resides. Consumed, but not submitting. Continues to live, poisoning me from within. Confront him if you wish. Here's to bow, no, not. Long ago, his mind was consumed. By me. Fucking love this guy. All right! Set up straight posture check! This is prime two ball we're talking about here! This is not a pushover! Starting with ads. Remember, I can't kill these for quite some time. We need to be off the floor. Shit. Oh, shit. Oh, the ants can die now. This is good. Oh, God. Does that, does that saw blade come back? Keep the poison up. I meant to roll. I was above that. Oh! Fucking calm the fuck down. This is fine. This is fine. Everything's fine. Keep him poisoned. Keep him poisoned. Keep him poisoned. Shit. 
Blast face. Oh, I didn't get out of the way in time. Oh my fucking god. Finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it, finish it. Ah! Too close, 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 too close. That was too close. Okay. Okay. Uh. We still haven't found the first boss. We're going to go to, uh, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, hey. All my cycles have I lain restless. You have brought me great comfort. My gratitude is given. My energy eludes me. I must rest. Pat for good luck. Pat for good luck. Triple the good luck. I like threes. Okay. Uh, Axis Mundi. This is an ant fight. So, uh, we should be pretty prepared for that, actually. I want them close together, so I'm staying here. I'm pushing it too fast. It's actually a really big problem. Great roll. Single amount now. We got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay! Full health, full health, full health, full health, full health! <laughs> wow. Wow, okay, we still do have some of the starting castle clear. Uh, the reason I didn't finish it is because I was hoping if I needed health at that point, we would able, we'd be able to... Um, farm it off of some of the easier minions there. Uh, but let's do the best we can to try to find the boss. Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> uh, well, if that mage stays on the right, half of this room isn't protected. Oh, he is now. Oh, that sucks. Mage goes first. Rest of the room follows. Great combat roll. Okay, good, 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 good. Rest is easy peasy. Oh, last relic room. Oh my god, that would have been nice to have. Oh, that would have been really nice to have. I looked for this relic room for so long. Come on. Yeah, that is wild how many suns we've found. Uh, for those uninitiated, the thing on the right was, I think I hovered over it, I don't even know. Hey, that's the full clear. Uh, it's, uh, health every time you open a chest, and because we're dealing a run like this, we're opening every chest. 
uh, it would amount to thousands and thousands and thousands of extra XP by the end of the game. I wish this might be a good feature for the devs. I wish I could see how much that stem we have blocked because we took a lot of damage. In one room alone, we took a thousand damage that would just got completely mitigated. Okay, the final boss inside the castle, but the room is sealed. Oh no. As long as I don't die, we're fine. I shouldn't die here. This is the first one. Remember we have combat roll to avoid a lot of the mess. Oh, perfect positioning. Let's go. Let's go. Should also try to keep poison stacked at 10 if I can. That was lucky. Less lucky. Fine here. Push the phase mid spell. I tried to hover in the air a little bit longer, hoping they would hit the top there. Oh, this is bad. Combat roll, please. Got it. Okay. Now for the hard part. Now for the part that we've been grinding for for over two and a half hours. Now for the part where if we die, the run is over. Posture check, everybody. Posture check, I need you sitting up front. I need you sitting up straight and I need your energy. I need you sitting up straight and I need your energy. First step is getting by this guy. He uses all of the mechanics that we have access to as a player, starting off with spoons. Those are gonna bounce. He's also elusive. Ow, good shot. I need to dash through that. Oh, gotta do better than that. However, our strength as a duelist here is really gonna show. Because he's elusive, we can pass through his character and we can do guaranteed crits every time we pass through. So there is theoretically, theoretically I could rush this down before he does too much of anything. Until he gets that, the crown stops me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Half health. I can't get the raw. No, no, no. Clear these. Shit. Pass face. Fine. Still fine. Two more hits and we're dead. He'll come to me. Got it. <sighs> okay. Okay. Last boss. Last boss, last boss, last boss, last boss, last boss, last boss, that's, we can do it. We got, we have to do it. 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 Have to do it. Oh my God. Oh my God. I wonder what my pulse is. <laughs> One thirteen. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> All right, deep breaths. Deep breaths. We can do this. I'm skipping the dialogue. I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit what he has to say. 
Ah, he betrayed me! Oh. Combat roll. Perfect. Combat roll. I need to be in that. Push the face. for that. Uh, I think my poison took him over. Need to be in this? Okay, he's gonna start changing phases rapidly, and each phase is a little different than it was before, too. fell out of my controller oh my god oh my god yes 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 holy shit oh. oh my god we did it <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh. oh, so much emotion all at once. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Oh. 3.4 million. Holy crap. Oh, man. Amazing. Amazing. We, we've read all this, right? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm like hyperventilating. <laughs> I think we've read this, right? I'm pretty sure we did. Wow. <laughs> wow. Was it actually first try? Yeah. Woo! Wow. Oh, that feels so incredible. Man, yo, Sir Caleb the 15th, the little duelist that fucking could. Get me out of here. Is that big enough? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, I can't believe we did it. Oh, I can't believe we did it. Dude, literally, I was so full of adrenaline, my jaw is shaking. Like my my teeth would chatter if I closed my mouth. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, I'm not gonna talk to the tall lady again. Fuck the tall lady. I'm keeping this gold. This gold is mine. <laughs> Hey. Hey, you guys, you guys have fun together. Delete the gold for content. Absolutely not. I got the gold for content. <laughs> oh my God. Sh sh show me what I've done. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I appreciate you more than you know. This is one of my crowning gaming achievements of all time. We're gonna play this out. Unbelievable. I need to turn the volume up in the thing, but I can't. If I alt-tab, it goes away. This It didn't go away last time. I was able to adjust it. <laughs>